Hello everyone, Amy Love here, and I thought today we would make some doily and cheesecloth flowers. So I am starting with a uh, doily for the base that's about three inches wide. And then I am using a, um, a closed weave cheesecloth to make um, petals for my flower. And they are roughly two by two squares, but it's very rough. It really it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so I'm just taking one of the cheesecloth squares, folding it in half, and then bringing one corner to the middle, and then bringing the other corner to the middle to make a petal looking type thing. <laughs> it's very scientific. So you could use um, lace or tulle or any kind of fabric to make these petals. I'm just uh, using this cheesecloth because I like the way it frays on the ends. I like the shabby look of it. And so I am, um, I like to place my petals directly across from each other. And what I'm doing with this layer of petals is bringing it as close to the edge of my doily as possible. So I'm not worried about the petals meeting in the middle because I'm going to cover those. So I'm just going to keep folding the petals and adding them in until I get this first row um, full of petals. So the doily that I decided to use for the next layer is about two and a half inches wide and I'm just going to glue it right down into the middle on top of the petals. And now we're going to put more petals on top of that. But I was running low so I had to cut a little bit more. So I thought I'd just show you how I cut these because they really don't have to be perfect.
So for this next layer, I want to bring my petals in a little more than I did last time. So they're gonna be overlapping in the center. I just want to let the top doily <clears throat> peek out a little bit around the edges. I absolutely love how fluffy this flower is and now you can choose whatever you'd like to put in the center. I'm going to use one of these gorgeous flowers from Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy and I will put the link to her shop below because these look great in the middle of this flower. And so you could also use bling, I mean you could use whatever, whatever you would like. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one.